Saudi highlights a $7.8 billion budget to host World Expo 2030, and Kuwait's May inflation remains unchanged. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Saudi has highlighted a $7.8 billion budget and opportunities for international companies who plan to invest in the kingdom as it makes its bid to host the World Expo 2030. Saudi's delegation members presented their bid to BIE members in Paris as competition heats up to host the massive event that can generate revenue, jobs and global attention. Saudi officials say their bid includes $343 million to help 100 countries in areas like pavilion construction, maintenance, technical support, travel and events. Kuwait's May inflation rate was unchanged at 3.7% year-on-year amid an increase in prices of all main groups, particularly food and beverages. Official data shows the consumer price index edged up 0.2% in May when compared to April. Food and beverage increased the most at 6.9%, followed by clothing and footwear at 6.8%. In 2022, consumer prices on an annual basis grew by 3.2% compared with the year previous. Britain's annual inflation rate unexpectedly remained at 8.7% in May, piling pressure on the Bank of England and government to act over soaring prices. Markets had forecast a drop from April's level, while the BOE was already widely expected to raise rates again tomorrow. Analysts warn that inflation in the UK isn't under control, but further rate hikes will squeeze British households. The BOE has already lifted borrowing costs to a 15-year high at 4.5% in a bid to cool inflation. Hong Kong stocks ended with another big loss today as traders await Federal Reserve boss Jerome Powell's testimony to Congress tonight, hoping for an insight into the bank's plans for interest rates. The Hang Seng dived 1.98 percent, the Shanghai Composite shed 1.31 percent, while the Shenzhen Composite on China's second exchange slipped 1.95 percent. But Tokyo stocks closed higher today, despite fears they may be overbought. The Nikkei rose 0.56 percent, while the broader topics advance 0.49 percent. And those losses are reflected in today's Forbes real-time billionaires ranking, which tracks daily ups and downs of the world's wealthiest people. With our third biggest loser today, Tencent's Mahua Tang, he's down $2.1 billion with net wealth of $36.1 billion. But our biggest loser today is LVMH's Bernard Arnault. He's down $6.5 billion, still with net wealth of $227.2 billion. And our second place loser is Oracle's Larry Ellison, down $3.1 billion with net wealth of $153.1 billion. Check out our website and our social media for all of the latest billionaires news. China is giving tax breaks to consumers who purchase electric vehicles and other green cars through 2027 in an effort to revive softening auto demand. China will exempt vehicles sold in 2024 and 2025 from tax of up to $4,168 per vehicle. The package applies to NEVs, which include all battery EVs, plug-in petrol electric hybrids and hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. NEV sales grew 10.5% in May from the month previous. Japan's Panasonic Energy and Mazda Motor are discussing a lithium-ion battery supply partnership for EVs. Under the deal, Panasonic Energy would supply Mazda with automotive cylindrical lithium-ion batteries manufactured in Japan and North America. They would be used for Mazda's battery EVs scheduled to be launched after 2025. Elon Musk says he discussed potential significant investments in India after meeting Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the U.S. Musk says Modi was pushing for investments in India, which is something he intends to do. He says he is trying to figure out the right time. Since the pandemic, many companies have expanded their presence in India to cut their supply chain dependence on China and tap into India's huge domestic market. And the world's five highest paid athletes took home record pre-tax gross earnings of $616 million in the year to March 2023, $60 million more year on year. That's according to Sportslens.com. Cristiano Ronaldo, Kylian Mbappe, Canelo Alvarez, Lionel Messi and LeBron James are the sports world's top earners. The Middle Eastern cash flowing into some of the world's highest paid sports like football and golf has helped athletes make more money than ever. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.